Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Sports Corner. I am your host, Chris, Christopher Armistead. NBA season is underway right now. There was a bunch of opening night games last night. We're going to go straight into it. Uh, Philadelphia traveled to Washington to play the Wizards at their season opener. Washington came out on top 120-115. to 115. Otto Porter Jr. had uh, 10 points, 8 rebounds. John Wall with 28 points, 8 assists. Took a lot of shots. He was 10-28 of 28 from the field, which... A little shoddy, but it's all right. Bradley Beal was really productive as well. 25 points, 6 rebounds for him. And uh, Martin Gortat ended up with a double-double. 16 points and 17 re- rebounds. Uh, for Philly, though, uh, first game of the year for Ben Simmons, the rookie out of LSU. See how he did. He ended up with a double-double. 18 points, 10 rebounds. And Joel Embiid ended up with a double-double as well. 18 points and 13 rebounds. So they... Those the two big men were really productive, but it's they came up short. But they still the beginning of the season. They got a long way to go. Washington starts out the season with a one. Starts the season one and zero. Good start for them. Uh, Detroit was at home playing against the Hornets from Charlotte. Detroit came out on top, one hundred two to ninety. Uh, Tobias Harris had twenty seven points and ten rebounds. He got a double double. Andre Drummond w- wasn't really productive. Wasn't really that productive. Eight points, thirteen rebounds though. He still got it on the boards. Three for nine shooting, so it, so it is what it is. Um, Reggie Jackson had 13 points, eight assists, so dishing the ball out really well. And Avery Bradley had 15 points uh, and two rebounds. So all in all, it was kind of s- slow for him, but he's he's learning the new ropes as everything as well. Uh, for Charlotte, Dwight Howard, his first game with the Hornets, 10 points, 15 rebounds, so he gets a double-double. Kemba Walker, 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Not really passing the ball a whole lot, but he was really productive in points. Um, Jeremy Lamb had 15 points, 4 rebounds. So, all in all, it, it was a okay session, okay night for Charlotte, but it wasn't good enough for the win at Detroit. It starts off their season 1-0 and while Charlotte falls to 0-1. Still still start of the year. Long way to go. Uh, Brooklyn traveled to Indiana to play the Pacers. This one was a really high-scoring game when it ends up 140-131. to 131. It, it just sounds like an all-star game. One, 140 points to 130. You allow a team 140 points that you are not doing something right on defense. In my opinion... You are not doing something right. All right, for the Nets, uh, Randall Hollis Jefferson had 14 points, four rebounds. Timothy Mozgov in his first game with the Nets after being traded from Los Angeles had four points, three rebounds. He wasn't really productive. Jeremy Lin had 18 points and four assists. However, he did leave the game with a um, with an injury, with a knee injury. He's He's out for the year. Uh, from that, so hopefully he can uh, recover as soon as possible, and if he can try to make it back for the end of the season, but chances are he won't. And D'Angelo Russell, his first game with the Nets, after also being traded from Los Angeles, had 30 points, three rebounds, five assists, 12 of 22 shooting from the field, and four eight, 50 percent, four for eight from the three point line. He did okay in his first start. 30 points is really good, but it wasn't enough. And for the Pacers. You had uh, Miles Turner had a double-double, 21 points, 14 rebounds. Victor Oladipo, uh, in his first game with the Pacers, had 22 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. Really productive. Darren Collison had 21 points, 11 assists off 9 of 12 shooting. So that's really good shooting from the guard. So Indiana gets a good win against against an Eastern Conference foe. Uh, we'll see how they do uh in their next game, uh, Miami. It's a all Florida matchup right here. As the Miami Heat took on Orlando, as Orlando took the win, one sixteen to one oh nine. Aaron Gordon had fourteen points, nine rebounds. Nikola Vucevic had nineteen points, thirteen rebounds. Alfred Payton had thirteen points, nine assists. Eric Fournier had twenty three points, three assists. Terrence Ross had fifteen points, six rebounds. So they were all really productive. And uh, as for the for the Magic that way, for the Miami Heat, Hassan Whiteside, have a game. 26 points, 22 rebounds. That is amazing. That is what a big man should do. 26 and 22. That is a big man. I applaud him. 
for playing the role. Thank you, Hassan Whiteside. Kelly Olenek in his first game with Miami after being traded from uh, the Celtics had 10 points, 5 rebounds. Not as productive, but he still did pretty well with stats. Still a good shooting. Uh, Goran Dragic had uh, 17 points, 6 assists. And Dion Waiters had 15 points and 4 assists. However, Miami wasn't able to come out with the lead. Orlando gets the fir- their first one of the year. And we'll see how they do in the next game. Milwaukee uh, traveled to Boston to play the Celtics. Celtics, Celtics looking for a rebound after losing their opening night against the Cavaliers. Celtics are home. Uh, without Gordon Hayward after the injury, the, the ankle injury and the tibia injury. So... They're doing it without him. Milwaukee come out, came out with a win, 108-100. to 100. Giannis Antetokounmpo had, had a double-double, 37 points, 13 rebounds. Thon Maker, 2 points, 3 rebounds. Not really as productive. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon out of UVA, 19 points, 4 assists after winning Rookie of the Year. Um, Tony Snell had 5 points, 4 rebounds. So not really as some productive as the other three, but it was really good as well. The other two, uh, Jalen Brown, Celtics. Jalen Brown had uh, 18 points, five rebounds. Jason Tatum had eight points, nine re- nine rebounds. Al Horford had 13 points, six rebounds, four assists. Kyrie Irving had 17 points, four rebounds, three assists, and Marcus Smart with 12 points, seven rebounds, and four assists. So they were all really productive, but could not come out with a win against Milwaukee. As Boston slips now to 0 and 2, while Milwaukee is starting out strong at 1 and 0. All right, we're going to fly right through these. So uh, if if y'all want to look up stats, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, y'all can go to uh, ESPN or any other, uh, the Bleacher Report. If y'all want to look up stats, go ahead. I'm kind of cut short on time right now. Uh, we're just going to run through these right quick. Memphis played at home against New Orleans and came out on top 103-91. to uh, Atlanta traveled to Dallas to play the Mavericks, came out on top 117-111. to uh, the Utah Jazz c- played at home against the Denver Nuggets, came out on top 106-96. San Antonio played the Minnesota, a strong Minnesota Timberwolves team, a new look for them, but San Antonio still big fundamentals out there, won at 107-99. And this was one of the bigger, <laughs> big blowouts that I've seen. Portland travels to Phoenix to play the Suns, end up winning 124-76. Good job, Portland. That is a game right there. Uh, Damian Lillard had 27 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. Uh, Nurk- Nurkic had 11 points, 11 rebounds, so he got his double-double really productive. Uh, for the Suns, Devin Booker had 12 points, 5 rebounds. Eric Bledsoe, 15 points, 4 rebounds. And Tyson Chandler was 4 points three rebounds so not they were not productive as they should be they they look like they were doing what they're supposed to do but just portland's a better team that night all right and then the last game of the night was houston and sacramento uh houston's houston wins it 105 to 100 jumping out to a 2-0 start in the new season uh james harden with 27 points nine assists uh Capella had 20 their center Capella had 22 points, 17 rebounds. So he did really well. He got his double double. Uh Josh Josh Jackson had a uh, for Sacramento uh Labissier had 12 points, 10 rebounds. So he got his double double. Willie Cully Stein had 21 points, 10 rebounds. He got his double double. Buddy Heald had 19 points, 5 rebounds and George Hill had 16 points and 3 rebounds. So a good opening night for some teams. Others still you got a lot of time to improve, but, I mean, 82 games is 82 games. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be close, so who knows. All right, tonight's, tonight are the big games. Uh, 8, p.m., 8 p.m. on TNT, you have the Knicks taking on the new look Thunder as Russell Westbrook, the big three, Westbrook, George, and Anthony, play their first game together in the regular season. I predict that the Thunder will come out on top on this one because the Knicks only got um, Porzingis, and Porzingis can't do it all by himself. So it's going to be a new look for that. Uh, At 7.30 p.m., the Bulls take on the Raptors 
in Toronto. And I still and the Raptors are all still looking strong as always. The Bulls are kind of they've had they're having some problems right now within the organization, but they're also just they they don't look fundamentalized as a team. So I predict the Raptors will come out on top on that one. And the last game of the night, 10:30 p.m. It's a it's a L.A. matchup between the Clippers and the Lakers. We're gonna see Showtime. Got to see if Lonzo Ball can live up to the hype. Because if he does it, it's not going to be pretty. So this is this has been a new edition of uh, Sports Corner. Again, my pick for that one is I hope the Lakers will come out. They're my team, but who knows what will happen. Uh, but this has been an edition of Sports Corner. I know it was a short one, but we'll come back tomorrow with no more stats highlights i'm trying to get some more people to come out and interview if you want to talk about sports and have an interest in sports whether it be baseball basketball football i'll go into thursday actually we can go into thursday night football uh tonight uh it's a it's a matchup between the oakland raiders and the kansas city chiefs uh kansas city looking really strong oakland not really doing that well i'm trying to see gotta see if beast mode can come out and be beast mode but kansas city calming the storm right now they're doing really well riding high i think kansas city will win that one uh it 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 could be close it could not be but who knows i predict kansas city will win that matchup but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna take it off uh i'm gonna take off right now but thank you for tuning in and again if you ever want to be on a show just don't be afraid to ask all right peace out